Hi, I'm Pax Sorhino. My whole family has been going to Holy Redeemer for like seven years. Well, growing up, you know, faith, God was just like always there, you know. The idea of God and Him being real was always a thing. Like, there was never a point where I had doubted or not believed that God wasn't real. Uh, it's like growing up with them as their, your family friend, like an aunt or an uncle. They were just there all the time. And, you know, when you're a little kid, you don't really care about your family members. At least I didn't. I was going to middle school at St. Robert's in Flushing. And, uh, you know, it's a Catholic school, so we did Catholic things. We had, like, worships and adorations and... Uh, at one of these adoration faith functions at school, uh, I was just sitting there. Everyone's probably bored. I think for the first time, really, looked at the cross, and I noticed how in naked he was, and probably how embarrassing that felt, or humiliating or vulnerable. The things that my parents, that uh, Sunday school, that everyone has been telling me uh, ever since I was a kid, kind of just like finally clicked. Like that real idea that, oh, he did that for you. And that kind of made me think, well, I probably should talk to them. You are my rest, my shelter. In like seventh grade, you did confirmation prep with everybody else. I kind of decided to do my confirmation at Holy Redeemer instead. But uh, I'd still go to their things. And there was this uh, one retreat uh, that we went to. It was at my old haunt of life, actually, uh, St. Mary's. But uh, at the end, uh, there was adoration. But this time, I kind of was in it. And then I, I felt called to stand up in front of the altar, in front of the monsters. And it was like a heat wave, like a, a pulsating heat wave washing over me. And I lifted my hands, I sang as loud as I could to all of the songs, screaming and praying and at the end, it was time for dinner and, and like, but like, I needed a minute. So I just sat down in a pew and at this point, I was crying. I was crying and all I could say was just thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Like those Holy Spirit moments would and usually only really happen at adoration or on big retreats and stuff and those on fire superheated moments but after a while i learned that it's actually not our natural state to always be in that holy spirit super on fire moment it's, sometimes you cool down but that doesn't mean you're losing faith uh, it's like metal being heated up folded and then hammered down to become stronger and tempered uh, i learned that you can call upon God and the Holy Spirit just in, in any moment, like whenever you need it. Like today, actually, uh, nearing the end of the school day, I was getting just, I was tired. I just like took a quick, quiet moment to myself because nobody else was in, the, in there. Um, and just like prayed, come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit. And peace. God is always right there. He's at the door. He's right there. He's right in front of your eyes. The reason why you can't feel him is because you aren't opening your eyes. It's not about how close you are to him. If closeness is a problem, he'd instantly be there. He is instantly there. He's at your shoulder, at your ear every day trying to say something to you. That can be difficult, but come around. We'll teach you how to do it. Mm.